Hi Data Fam. For those of you who haven't seen me before, my name is Tim, Tableau Zen Master, and I'm here to take you through some of the feature highlights of the 21.4 release. In a nutshell, here they all are. It has a number of highlights that I think everyone is going to love. My personal favorite is copy and paste. That's gonna change so many people's workflow for the better. I can't wait to get my hands on it. But I can't cover everything in this video. I'm just gonna to touch on some of the most important things in this release. Let's start off by making it easier to connect to data. With virtual connections, you can provide your users with a single centralized connection to a data source. It's the one place to easily define security policies and data standards for your users. This view allows all your data owners to store credentials and other connection information for a data source in one place, instead of embedded in every workbook and data source that uses that data. Going from hundreds of places where this information was manually updated to one trusted environment greatly simplifies management and collaboration whilst eliminating the risk inherent in sharing credentials across the organization. Once you have those virtual connections set up, let's talk about security. Within those virtual connections, you can define and apply centralized row-level security data policies on tables. You can then use these policies to filter data at query time based on the user's identity. This will give you granular control over your data security while bringing flexibility to creators to reuse data sources. High standards are being set on data protection and security. So precise control and agility to implement security at the appropriate level by staying within a single environment will speed up your journey to protect your greatest asset, data. As you've seen, bringing automation to data management is one of Tableau's big focuses to help you get to insights faster. You can now create, edit, and rename published data sources on server. No need to republish them from desktop. This streamlines governance and metadata management by editing published data source directly in Tableau Server and Tableau Online. Modified data sources automatically propagate throughout all content types that use it, and you can see your changes automatically indexed in the catalog. Connected apps allow site administrators to set up relationships with any external service using standard protocols. This effectively replaces trusted tickets for server and it's enabled for Tableau Online. Embedding Tableau with single sign-on without in-frame authentication is now seamless. And Tableau have added scoped user permissioning and restricted domain support to increase security. Now you not only get notifications in Slack, but you can now share them directly from AS data to Slack. From the new share button in the upper right corner, simply add in who you want to share with, any comment, and share. Over in Slack, you'll get a notification in the Tableau app. Released in Tableau 20.2, Metrics enables users to track key data points and headline metrics without having to access their dashboards. In 21.4, you can now embed metrics into your analytical apps, corporate portals, or web pages to provide a more personalized experience for different people and teams. Additionally, during metric creation, you can now set the comparison period, the date range used by the metric, and automatically apply color status indicators so it's easier to spot a status change. In case you missed the Tableau economy announcement at the Tableau conference, the extension gallery has evolved into the Tableau exchange. It now has more assets to help you jumpstart your analysis using Tableau. In addition to the extensions and connectors, you now have accelerators. Tableau Accelerators is the new name for dashboard starters, and there are a lot of them to help you get from data to insights fast. You can find accelerators for a variety of departments or use cases, industries, and enterprise applications. You may have seen the new Hire Me button for Tableau Public, so not only can Tableau Public now be your portfolio, but you can also use it to let people know that you're available for hire. The Tableau Developer Portal is the new hub for all things API at Tableau. Our data dev community can now access everything they need to keep their skills sharp, including tutorials, webinars, the latest news, and even their own personal development sites, as well as the exciting brand new content coming only to the portal. That's it from me. There's so many features we didn't cover today, so head on over to tableau.com to find out about all the new features in this release.